sound check. Wait, try that again. That was a that wussy was, sound <laughs> check. That was the most pathetic sound check. <laughs> Rafi's rambles. Rafi's rambles. Ra Play. Hola, you amazing artist. Welcome to the blue couch. Should we call our segment the blue couch? If don't step on my blue suede couch. <laughs> so as you guys already know, we have been super busy. One of the questions that we have is actually totally relevant to what's going on right now because I am actually really tired right yeah. now. Yeah. Right, right now as I sit on this couch, I am low energy. Ew, Rafi and Cleety, you're such a snooze fest. <laughs> That's what they'll say. Oh, we're sorry. <laughs> we're sorry. We hope worst. we're not a snooze fest. <laughs> So our question comes from Queen Doodle Teen, which FYI is one of my favorite names I've ever heard. My questions for you and Clee are, do you ever get burned out from the work? What do you do to prevent or fix it? Do you ever get burned out from the work? Oh, I could easily get burned out and I've gotten burned out um, because I tend to work on so many things. Your brain's just like, I don't know what, I don't know, I'm not sure what. I, what are we watching on Netflix? That's what my brain wants yeah. to know. You can get burned out in a couple of ways. You can get burned out from overwhelm or you can get burned out from sameness. Go to sleep, get up, get in their car, go to work, go home, go to sleep. That repetitiveness could actually cause burnout. I don't believe humans were made for sameness. I believe we were made for exciting variety. Yeah, that's exciting what we like. variety and diversity of life. Yeah, that's what we're designed for, I think. But even in the diversity of life, if you go a little bit too much where you're experiencing a lot of things at once, so my brain preoccupies itself trying to figure out how I'm going to pull everything off Anything can become extremely overwhelming for me. And that's where the tiredness comes in. The short answer is yes, we deal with burnout. I think everyone does. I don't think anyone escapes that. As an artist, you are an entrepreneur. You are somebody who is running a business. And for the most part, you don't have a staff. You don't have a secretary and a marketing person and, uh, you know, an accounts payable person and all of the people that usually come along with a business. You don't have that. You're doing it all yourself. And on top of that, as an artist, you are the one that has to create your product. You're not just buying product and then reselling it you are creating your product from scratch. One of the things that I do to keep myself from really, really experiencing burnout is allowing myself to just take a step back and disassociate myself from everything that I think that I need to do and understand that at any point in time, I can just say no. Yeah, my new mantra word is whatever. <laughs> Which sounds negative, but it actually helps me feel better and remember that I do what I want. She gets that from my dad. My dad's like, whatever. whatever. So I have a few things I do to deal with burnout, depending on the nature of the burnout. One of the things I try to remember to do is to deliberately make time for things that are unrelated to my creative work. Going outside, which can be hard to remember to do when you're an artist. <laughs> yeah. So just make time to do things unrelated to your creative work, even if you think you don't have time to do it. Do it anyway. Right. Don't spend all your time just working at your creative work, or you will burn out for sure. I would say the second thing for me would be get out of your head. Don't think about the deadlines. Don't think about how you might let somebody down or how it might be a little bit too much for you to do. Really, really get into the moment and enjoy the moment of creation. And the thing is that overwhelm and burnout only happens whenever you're stressed out about something. So like with the build we're doing, the only time I get stressed out about it is when I I've accidentally gotten 10 steps ahead of myself and I'm thinking about parts of the build that I'm not working on yet. And what's hilarious about that is that you could think the whole thing through, the whole project through, but when you get to that step, it's not going to be anything like what it was that you imagined. You're better off just working on what's right in front of you in that moment. And the really neat thing that I found is when you are working in the moment and you are enjoying yourself, just the right things and materials and choices come 
it's like all the gears lock into place for yeah. me. Yeah, it's, it's it's pretty magical. Another thing that I do if I know I'm feeling burned out is to deliberately schedule myself days or weeks off and do vacation time or staycation time, but I stay away from creative work. You get that idea that if I don't do this, my business will fall apart or I will not become a famous artist where I won't whatever I have to do this again that's not living in the moment that's living in some future existence we do have a daily cutoff time when we're working that cutoff time varies depending on what's going on yeah but there is a cutoff time after which point we are no longer working on whatever the thing or things happen to be yeah, it's easy to get caught up in the idea that the more I apply myself at this and the more I sacrifice everything else, that the more successful I will become. And you got to remember that unless your heart is in it, you may get success, but it won't be the good kind of success. The only time that you get that good success is when your heart's in it. If you're in the moment and you're in a creative mood and you are creating your artwork, then create your artwork. If you feel like taking a moment to sit outside and enjoy the view, then take a moment and enjoy the view. Mostly just get out of your head and don't think about it. Just go ahead and do it. Sometimes you want to be creative, but you have this paperwork to do. And instead of going and being creative, you're like, oh, I got to take care of this paperwork. And sometimes you know that you feel that you have to take care of the paperwork, but you're like, oh, I need to work on this art. You get in your head. And I think it's important to just get out of your head and just do what it is that you feel like doing in that moment. And I have a final thing that I implement to combat burnout within whatever your creative process is. So mine's jewelry. I try to make a point of experimenting with things that I haven't tried before. So sometimes I have orders and commissions and things I need to make for shows and it's it can get to be a repetitive process of making things that are maybe popular pieces of mine. But I always have a side project going that's something that I'm figuring out as I go, something that I haven't attempted before, some project that is kind of scary and challenging and exciting. Like building a robot. Like building a robot. I mean, not for me, I don't. I building, don't. yeah. For me, it's- Please gonna build a robot. Maybe I'm just trying a new style of pendant that I've never made before. I had a completely spontaneous abstract series that was born out of uh, me getting distracted by some pieces of metal on my desk which turned into a very exciting side project. So always have something like that going. I find that it makes my work that much more exciting. If you find yourself in a creative rut and you're feeling kind of burned out about it, then just do something that you've never done before. I'm not against normal routines like, you know, waking up first thing in the morning and maybe working on art in the morning because you know that that's when you feel the most creative. I'm not against that, but I think that flexibility is extremely important in order to avoid burnout. And and that's it. I don't I don't know if that answered the question. That's just what we do. Do you, boo? Do you? Yeah. I mean, everybody has a different way of dealing with burnout. And I guess the the moral of that question or the moral of the story or whatever moral it is that I'm coming up with here, because apparently I always need a moral. If you are feeling burnout, then there is a part of what it is that you're doing that is causing you some type of stress. If you're giving yourself a deadline, you could always move that deadline back. You're the artist. You're the boss. Don't allow yourself to stress out over things. Get out of your head and just do them and have fun. And if you feel like taking a walk, take a walk. And then when people call you and they're like, where's the photo bottle? You're supposed to have it by this deadline. You can be like, I'm building a robot. I'm building a robot. Turkey feathers. And that's it. That's that's all we have. Hopefully, hopefully that answered your question. I feel like there was a lot more rambling. And if you guys have any questions for us about life, art or anything in between just go ahead and leave those in the comment section below and thank you so much for watching you guys you guys are totally awesome i absolutely adore you you're the best and if you like this and you want to watch more like this just go ahead and click right over here to subscribe somewhere somewhere around my head i think yeah it's right over there i think yeah it's right there and that's it say goodbye clee good day adios